All right. So the next question here is 10.20. Uh, the question reads: The treatment of alkyl chloride with aqueous KOH leads to the formation of alcohol, but in the presence of alcoholic KOH, alkenes are major products. Explain. So here. The thing that we have to see is we need to convert alkyl chloride to an alcohol. So we need to convert is alkyl chloride to alcohol. And for this, the reagents given to us is one aqueous KOH and the second one is alcoholic KOH. Now, when we are treating this with uh, aqueous KOH you are getting alcohol and in the second case when the same compound is treated with alcoholic KOH you are getting an alkene all right so before we take an example of this trying to explain the entire thing what we need to know is what is a function of these reagents here because it is because of the reagent is the reason why products are forming differently so whenever we have aqueous koh or aqueous noh this oh minus here is going to act as a nucleophile so that's why it will replace the alkyl the halide group and it will become an alcohol on the other hand when you have alcoholic koh your OH minus is going to act as a base, eliminating a hydrogen halide, therefore forming alkene. All right. So here, let's take an example. Say I'm going to take CH3, CH, and CH3, and an OH over here. Sorry, a halogen here. So I'm just taking a random molecule and just explaining it. Now this one, when I treat it with aqueous KOH what will happen is when it's aqueous it's going to replace that halide group so here I will get CH3 CH3 and an OH so what has happened just the replacement the substitution of a alcoholic group in place of a halide group now the same reaction when I do this in the presence of an alcoholic KOH what will happen is from any one of the adjacent carbons, one hydrogen will go and one halogen will go out to give an alkene molecule. So this is going to form an alkene molecule here. And this second reaction, the presence of an aqueous KOH is going to be Sades of Rule. This is one thing that we have learned when we learned about beta elimination. So, what are we trying to eliminate here from the beta carbon? A hydrogen from the beta carbon and a halogen from the adjacent carbon is going to be uh, eliminated out. So, that is what is the difference in the function of the reagent that you are adding. Both look same but the condition here aqueous and alcoholic will give two different reagents. So aqueous will be uh, where aqueous KOH will act as a nucleophile, whereas alcoholic KOH functions as a base.